Hey everyone, it's Paul Halliday and we're going to look at creating a phone dialer application within Ionic 2. So simply make a new app by running Ionic start phone dialer blank dash dash v2. Now that that's downloaded, we can CD into phone dash dialer. We can then add the Cordova plugin by simply running Ionic plugin add call dash number. And then as with every Ionic native plugin, we'll have to add the Ionic native wrapper. Run npm install at Ionic dash native slash call dash number. And make sure you save that to the project too with dash dash save. I'm going to be testing this on my Android app as we're developing this. So I'm going to run Ionic platform add Android. Then I'm going to run this on the device, so Ionic run Android-L, that'll make sure there's a live reload server on the device, any changes we make will automatically be updated on the app. So let's open up in VS Code. The first thing that we're going to do is head over to app.module.ts and we'll import the call number plugin. So we want to import from Ionic native slash call number and we want to import call number. We then have to add this to the list of providers. And this just essentially means that we can use call number throughout our components. So in our home.html, I'm going to change the title to Ionic Dialer. I'm going to change the navbar color to primary. And I'm going to make an input. And that input is going to simply be a number. So ion item. Inside the item, we want an ion label. And it's going to be a floating label, which is simply going to say phone number. And after the label, we'll have an ion input of type tell. Using the tell type means that the phone keyboard opens when somebody clicks the input instead of giving people access to the QWERTY keyboard. And then we want a fab button at the bottom right, so ion fab, bottom right. Inside the fab will be a button. We'll add the ion fab attribute and we'll also make an icon inside the fab. So ion icon, the name of which will be call. So here you can see our super simple UI. It's simply a form and a fab button. I'm now going to go over to home.ts and we're going to import from ionic native call number. We will import call number. We will then inject it inside of our constructor, so private call, call number. So we can make a function named call number, and it's going to return a promise. And I will be making this async, so make sure that your TS config is targeting ES6, and then we can add async call number. We can then try to resolve the promise, so we can do await this.call.call number. As you can see, it requires a number to call and it also requires a boolean here, which is bypass app chooser. This effectively, if we add true, we'll simply use the default phone app on the device, and that's what I recommend. So we could put a number in here, and we do want to bypass the app chooser. We need a catch, so if there is an error, we want to simply log out the error. Right now this would work, but we want it to be a little bit more dynamic, so let's hook up our input. On our input, we'll simply have an ng model, and the ng model will simply be phone number. We can add this phone number to our home.ts, so phone number. We want it to be of type number, and when you want to use it inside the call number function, we can simply cast it to a string. So we can say a string this dot phone number, and this now conforms to the string that we actually need for the call number function. The final thing we need to do is hook it up to our button. So inside of our button, we can add a click event to be call number, and then we can test it on the device. So I'm simply gonna add in a random number, then press call, and it's gonna ask me whether I want to give the dialer the permission. I'm simply gonna say yes, and it starts calling the number. So there we are, phone calls within Ionic 2 and Ionic Native 3.1. If this helped, hit that subscribe button to see more Ionic tutorials and check out Learn Ionic 2 for more information.